Welcome to Daily Hope from Victory Lutheran. I'm Pastor Steve Leon. Many of you have heard Lutherans talk about Martin Luther, the Protestant reformer after whom the Lutheran denomination is named. But many of us don't know much about John Wesley, the great English revivalist and founder of Methodism. Last week I learned that May 24, 1738, was the day that Wesley had an encounter with the Holy Spirit that triggered what some have called the greatest British spiritual awakening for a thousand years. I also had no idea that as a young man, John Wesley was a deeply committed Anglican priest, but one who was given to crushing legalism. He was so unsure of God's love that he compulsively ranked and graded his spiritual performance in an attempt to gain God's favor. Wesley came to the American colonies as a missionary, but his stint here ended in burnout and disgrace and disappointment. He returned to England exhausted and depressed. Reluctantly, he agreed to attend a Moravian worship gathering in Aldersgate Street, London, where he met God in a way that transformed him. In his own words, he later described his Aldersgate experience. In the evening, I went very unwillingly to a society in Aldersgate Street. While the preacher was describing the change which God works in the heart through faith in Christ, I felt my heart strangely warmed. I felt I did trust in Christ, Christ alone for salvation, and an assurance was given me that he had taken away my sins, even mine, and saved me from the law of sin and death. Legalism fell away replaced by a deep assurance of God's love for him and a burning passion to share that love. Wesley preached about the need to encounter Jesus personally. He took the deeply radical step of preaching not from a pulpit, but out in the streets and fields. Joining with other revivalists, he called the nation's poor to follow Christ, which they did in their tens of thousands. In his lifetime, listen to this, He traveled 250,000 miles on horseback to teach all over the country. He preached around 40,000 sermons and planted radical communities of prayer, mission, and justice across Britain. John Wesley was a champion of the poor, a campaigner against the slave trade. Disregarding hierarchies of class and gender, he trained non-ordained men and radically for his day, women, to disciple the many people coming to Jesus. I join the author of my devotional in being struck by the fact that an evangelist as successful as John Wesley first endured disappointment and shame during his mission in America. It would have been easy for Wesley to give up, but he didn't. In dragging himself to the worship meeting at Aldersgate, even when he didn't feel like it, John Wesley kept himself open to God. I hope and pray that you and I can deal in the same way with the setbacks and disappointments that come to our lives. In fact, I believe it's during those times of struggle and difficulty that we need God most. Sometimes simply staying put and waiting for the storm to pass and our heads to clear is the best we can do. But God is able, and our salvation is his work, not ours. Paul speaks with utter confidence in Philippians 1.6, There has never been the slightest doubt in my mind that the God who started this great work in you would keep at it and bring it to a flourishing finish on the very day Christ Jesus appears. Will you join me in prayer? Dear God in heaven, there are so many things that disturb and almost destroy our faith and trust in you. Not least are our own disappointments and setbacks, but also tragedies and school shootings that defy the imagination and break our hearts. Hold on to us, dear God. Hold on to us and use us, ordinary broken people, to hold on to others. And because we are such a wreck, you'll get all the credit and the glory. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Thanks for joining me for these moments, friends. Have a good day, and remember that you are loved, and you are never alone.